Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update. Today is Friday, October 16th. This video is exclusively for pro members where we will discuss all the alerts, all the positions. Uh, before we jump into that, i just give you a quick recap on our day trading. If you haven't yet, make sure you join our private Facebook group. Just go to facebook.com, uh, search for navigation trading or day trading options for income and you can check that out. We're already up to 682 members, which is cool. Uh, and we post our daily recap video of our day trading here today. Booked a small green day of $214.25 and total profit for the week, 3894 So I give a little bit more detailed breakdown of everything we've got going on for the week. So if you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check that out. If you are a Facebook holdout, which I get, I used to be one of those, <laughs> Uh, you can also go to navigationtrading.com slash recaps, and we post those daily recaps here as well. So, uh, But there are some good discussions going on in the Facebook group that can be helpful as well. Uh, as far as our live streaming, we are, we are not streaming next week, Monday through Thursday. I'll be traveling, uh, but we'll be back live on Friday. And then the following week, we are going to be doing some different sessions. So make sure you check out the live stream calendar in the live stream room for an update on the schedule. We'll be doing, we'll be doing some later morning sessions where we will be going on live about an hour after the market opens and we'll be, we'll be streaming live longer into the morning to manage some of these runner trades that have, uh, that have been so successful. So look forward to that. Uh, let's jump into the markets and talk about what's going on a little bit, specifically with the S&P. So last couple days, we've had a little bit of a pullback and then we bounced pretty hard yesterday and a little bit of a continuation today. Uh, as I've been saying, I think we're going to be continuing to all-time highs and beyond leading up to the election. And then after the election, we will reassess at that point. So starting that now, how we get to all-time highs, you know, will that be Monday? <laughs> will it be, you know, chop fest, you know, big wild swings to get there? Either way, I think we're going to get there uh, before the election. So that's how we're kind of positioning our portfolio. Still carrying some short delta. We always want to be carrying some short delta in case this thing does fall apart. There's obviously a lot of things out there uh, that could cause havoc on the market. Uh, but everything known right now is priced in, and so we'll manage our portfolio accordingly. But you'll see in our alerts that we did kind of lighten up on some of our short delta plays, uh, actually added some long plays. So let's jump into the alerts and check that out. Starting with Monday the 12th, we did a closing trade in XLK, and speaking of short delta, this was a, a bunker trade that we cut loose. We're getting close to that 60 days to expiration where we wanted to exit anyway. You know, p is starting to sag into that, into that valley. And so we just went ahead and cut that one loose. And we'll, you know, once we get to a, a certain level, we will continue to, you know, potentially add some more of these bunkers back in. But for now, just kind of lightening up on these. The next trade, we did a closing trade in SPX on an iron duck, booked beak profit on that trade, a little over hundred, I think it was $105 on that one. Uh, did an opening trade It opened a weekly double calendar. So we had two of those and I'll talk about the closing of those here in a second. Uh, did a closing adjusting trade in ES. So we had two sets of long put verticals, closed out one of those again, lightening up our short deltas. Uh, and I'll go to the charts here in a second. Uh, did an opening trade in SPX. So we opened up an iron duck here, did this one with 15 days to expiration. So let's go to SPX on the platform and uh, and check out what we're doing there. So SPX. All right, so here's what all we've got going on in the SPX. So here is the iron duck that we just put on. You can see price has moved higher today, so it's moved up the beak a little bit, uh, but we're gonna hold this until expiration. If we do get a little downside action, we'll be right there in the duck head for max profit. Uh, if, if this thing keeps running higher, we'll book beak profit. We've also got another iron duck with the 1029 expiration. It's pretty close to where we put it on. Uh, hasn't moved too much since then. And then the weekly double calendar that we added today uh, is, is dead centered, obviously, right where we put it on. So we'll be managing that one late next week. 
I uh, did a closing trade in IWM, another bunker. We just closed that one out. Uh, John Deere, long put vertical. We, we rolled this to extend duration. You know, this is one that we do want to keep some short delta in. And here's why. If we go to DE, I mean, DE has just been on a massive run. And so at some point, this thing's going to pull back. I mean, it didn't really, when the market dropped, it didn't even really drop. It continues to stay strong. So at some point, it's going to cycle back to getting this one week, and, and we'll see some downside here. So I wanted to keep on that short delta position. Uh, we did a rolling adjusting trade in the QQQ. So we've got two sets of short call verticals. Rolled this one out. Still holding our other one uh, that we will roll or potentially close next week. Uh, I was going to see if we did happen to get some downside action, we would close it then, but we'll just we'll hold it and potentially roll or close next week. So let's look at the Qs. So here's the one that we rolled out to November. Pretty close to where we put it on. We're up about 50 bucks since that roll. And then this one is out of range, but see if we can get if we do get some downside action, we will take uh, take advantage of that early next week. Closing trade in SPX. So here is uh, the first weekly double calendar that we closed out on Thursday. Booked a nice profit, three hundred and some dollars on that one. And then <clears throat> let me skip over that. I already went over the opening trade in that other SPX Iron Duck. And then the uh, oh, let me jump here. Here's the other weekly double calendar. So we closed this one out on Thursday as well. Uh, I thought we would get a pretty decent contraction with the up move in price. Uh, actually, we would have we would have booked a little bit more profit had we held it to today, uh, but we ended up taking this off Thursday, booking a hundred and some dollar profit on that one. All right, so let me jump back here now. Uh, XLK, we had a long put on. Uh, we we had a decent profit on this, but I was looking for that third leg down in the market. And if you remember me talking about this, let's look at XLK. So we had this push down and another push down. We we're looking for one more potential push down, but that's when the market ripped back higher. So we ended up just closing that one out for a loss. And again, lightens up some of our short delta. And so where we're at now, we're actually a little bit less than one to one on a ratio of short delta versus theta when we beta weight it to SPY. Uh, so I'm, I'm good with that. That's, that's exactly where we want to be at this point. Uh, Netflix, we added as a long position, and this is a pre-earnings long call. We haven't done many of, the, many of these lately, uh, but I think you know this is a great environment to do it. We're, we're bullish on the market overall, so that could add some wind in the back. Some of these big tech stocks get that momentum going into earnings, and that's exactly what we're looking for out of Netflix. So Netflix had a little pullback here the last couple of days. So we got long yesterday. So we're looking for a continuation leading up to earnings. The earnings announcement is 1020 after the market closes. So the way that we plan to manage this is on 1020, we plan to close it out. Or if we get a big burst higher, I'm, I'm, I'm going to look for about 100% return. So we're in this for 1820. So if we get, you know, 18, $1,900 profit, we're going to book this. That would put us up to about, you know, 575 ish, uh, which would be right back here near near the high. So that could easily happen uh, early next week. Um, if it doesn't, regardless, we will be closing this out before earnings. We do not want to. Uh, we do not want to hold this through earnings because you get the volatility crush. And let me, for some reason I got logged out. There we go. Uh, we don't want to hold this through earnings because we know we'll get that volatility crush and that would kill the premium in this long call. The other reason, if you haven't watched the earnings course in a while on this strategy, the reason we did this and, and kind of chose the strikes that we did is we want to choose the cycle that the earnings fall in because the implied volatility will stay high leading up to earnings. And we can choose a little bit out of the money. I think when we did this, was, yeah, it was about 40 delta, still about 39. And these, op these options are not going to decay very quickly or at all because leading up to earnings, that implied volatility should continue to expand. Now, sometimes it'll flatline. Sometimes it'll even contract a little bit before, but we're expecting uh, this volatility to pick back up, which will hold the premium in those calls until that earnings announcement. So we're looking for an up move, impl implied volatility expansion, and then getting out before earnings. So hopefully we can book a profit there. 
Next trade, closing trade in SPX. So this was the second weekly calendar we closed, booked a small profit. Uh, and then today, we uh, already showed you this. This was the weekly double calendar that we opened. So those are all the alerts. Let's take a look at some of the other positions that we have. Uh, starting with ES, we've got that one set of short call verticals left that price is out of range. So we've got, how much time do we have on this one? Yeah, this one expires 35 days out. So we've got plenty of time there. So just going to hold that one for now. GC, so we've, we've got... I think it's over $1,000 in profit on this GC Iron Condor that we've been adjusting and extending duration on. And, and we're up about 80 bucks on this one here. And so if we close this one out, we'll probably just close it out and then reevaluate, reevaluate, maybe, maybe add one in, add one back in. Uh, but we are up a good amount on this uh, gold Iron Condor trade overall. Natty Gas, we are working our way back nicely to profits on this one. We got in a little bit of a hole during the corona crash, and we've been kind of adjusting and rolling and working our way back. We're up about $250 since we did our last roll here. Nice and centered, so we'll continue to manage that. ZB, price is hanging out right here, kind of in the lower end of the range. Could use a little up move in bonds and some more theta decay, and we're working our way back to profits there. Apple, another one of our short delta positions. Uh, Apple got really strong this week, pushed us a little bit out of range uh, with uh, with that move that we had. I guess that was, was that, oh yeah, that was Monday. Uh, and then it's kind of just traded sideways since then. Apple does have earnings coming up here at the end of the month on the 29th. DE, I mentioned DIA. We've got a couple sets of short call verticals, both in the November cycle. That one's out of range there, and this one is slightly out of range. So looking for some downside action to benefit those. But again, those are just, you know, we wanted to keep on some short delta, and that's part of our overall short delta piece. Same with IWM. We've got a couple sets of long put verticals. That one is out of range, and this one is out of range as well. So again, we will we'll address uh, at least the October 23rd one next week. Uh, probably hold the November one a little bit longer uh, and either roll or close one of those. Uh, Netflix I mentioned, Qs I mentioned, SMH. So we've got this adjusted strangle. Price is hanging out right here. Just waiting for some more time to pass. A little down move in SMH would be beneficial as well. Uh, that's out in November, so we got plenty of time. Mentioned SPX, SPY. We've got an iron condor in SPY. Price has just been kind of hanging out in the upper end of the range. Uh, I do want to add another centered iron condor uh, here at some point. Uh, we're currently in the cycle with 35 days. So next week, when this December cycle gets down under 60, we'll probably add another iron condor in SPY to kind of layer that on, collect another credit, and continue to manage that trade. XBI, we've got this adjusted strangle out in November. It's now a straddle. Price is hanging out right here in the uh, upper break even. It has breached the upper break even, but remember, once we've made an adjustment, really what we're looking at is the untested side, and there's still a good amount of premium left in those puts. So we're not ready to roll those puts up yet. If price does continue higher, then we will uh, need to roll those puts up, but uh, just holding steady for now. And then uh, I mentioned XLK. So those are all the positions. Those are all the alerts. Hope everybody has a fantastic weekend. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Look forward to talking to you next week.